What's good, everybody? Valley here once again. Welcome back to the Mesa Workbench. And ooh, Mega Darts. You can probably take a guess at what I was doing a video on before I recorded this one. And yeah, I found something quite interesting while I was at Walmart picking up a certain blaster for a certain commission. And I spotted this and I was like, okay, let's see what's going on with this. It is the Nerf Rapid Strike once again. And oddly enough, this is something completely different. This is not a complete repaint. It's a slightly different coloration to what we've had in the past with the Rapid Strike, which I can actually go grab that real quick if I will be uh, so fast as to grab this. It is slightly different than what we've had in the past, which this is a, this is a beat up Rapid Strike that I thrifted a while back. This is a target version of the Rapid Strike with the white stripe and the orange stock, but gray pad. On this one, you can see there, the pad is orange. Now on the art here, it has this painted as like a darker blue, but I have a sneaking suspicion it will be gray like on here. Now, that's enough sort of fooling around with it. We're gonna pop this out of its box and we're going to see what happens. It's always exciting seeing these re-releases of blasters that we've had in the past. Now, we've had a release of the Rapid Strike recently at Walmart in the form of the Stratohawk, but not a lot of people liked the coloration of it. I was kind of okay with it because it is a just another sort of coloration for people who don't like to paint, which I am one who likes to paint, so yeah. This is held in with blobs of hot glue, oddly enough. Let's get this torn open. Aha! We've got our 18 darts with the Nerf logos on the tips. Our instructions, which, you know, it's a rapid strike. We all know what a rapid strike does. We don't need it. Yeah off to the side. Maybe I'll send that to Bray or whatever. And yeah, you got our completely orange 18 mag. Yeah, it's completely solid orange. Uh, the old ones actually came with a, uh, a clear one, which this is different from what we've seen in the past, because normally with the orange 18s, they are half and half. I think this might be the first time we have ever seen a completely solid orange 18 stick. Always nice. I always like getting more 18 mags because they're useful to run in certain games. Now, you can already see the muzzle poking out, but eh. And nothing else in the box. A bit of a weird spacer wrapped around the thing. And oh, this is, this is different to what I was expecting. I am liking what I'm seeing already. And yes, let's get this mag and these darts out of the way just for a moment so we can bring this in just to compare let's get this mag out and yeah the differences are fairly apparent which oh I, yeah that is yeah. i think this is to kind of coincide with the strife cq 10 or whatever that it was it's released across overseas but not over here in the states whereas a elite style paint scheme with the white stripe and everything uh, this one's a bit beaten up because it's one I thrifted back while I, whenever I was visiting Florida a while back. But yeah. On the uh, the shade of orange is ever so slightly different. That might just be because it's newer plastic. But yes, the cheek rest and the grip are both black, which is quite pretty, I feel. I, I do like the black on the blue and white better than I like the gray, though gray is a nice secondary color. But the sort of hand stop area right here is unpainted. That is very interesting. The plastic does feel, it feels about the same, but I do like the fact that this is nice and fresh, but oddly enough, the stock pad is not painted. And hmm, the, uh, the seam isn't matched up quite as well. It's a bit of a lower quality thing. Oh well, that might bug you if you are more and or attentive about that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, th th that seam just does not line up that well. I think the, the mold got misaligned because this stock here matches up a whole bit. There's a still a bit of a seam, but it's nowhere near as bad as this one. Jam door is nice and smooth. 
the Jandor on this old one sticks a little bit, but that's just because it's an older one. Yeah, feels like a rapid strike. I mean, yeah. Stripe is painted on the other side, like it should be. But the Elite logo is not painted. And the Nerf logo is not painted on here. But at the very least, you do have the stripe on both sides, which is always a nice thing. They have actually added extra sort of warning labels. Well, this one has always been here. Same with this. Actually, the they even changed the molding right here. Still says 2012 Hasbro. But they added a French warning label right there, which it's a little bit annoying. I wish, and they added this right here. But um, I wish they had add these warning labels as a sticker because it's so much cleaner looking to not have all this warning crap all over the side of it. At least we have the rails on both sides and everything. They haven't changed much of anything else. Mag goes in, nice and smooth. Ooh, that mag release is a little bit, hmm. That mag release is a little bit sticky. Let's try that with the older Rapid Strike. Uh, no, it's actually about the same. That's just me being used to the older, uh, well, the, the lever releases on Strife and Fetch. But yeah. It says Elite on the one side like it always has. Collapse this stock up so we can get a better look at it again. Muzzle point, rail on top, rail on bottom, and the sides. And yeah, I'm going to pause the video so I can go get some batteries if I can even find them. And we will slap them in here and have a little bit of fun. It occurs to me that I do not own any sort of brand new C cells, but hopefully these Sunbeam C cells have a little bit of juice to them, at least enough to make sure this actually works and everything. So we're going to get this thing popped open to the side. And yeah, I will touch on the fact again that a lot of people will complain that they're just re-releasing older blasters and such. But again, it, I'm not too bothered by the fact that they're being re-released because it means that we're going to be able to have them again. Yeah, because like the Rapid Strike is a well sought after blaster because people love their full auto flywheelers. And I don't necessarily see it as a detriment. Like, it is a bit annoying whenever the, we have blasters like the, the Stratohawk, which is like the AccuStrike version of this. It was like all orange and white and such. And it was expensive whenever it first came out, which before this thing was released, they actually dropped the price of it like crazy, which I think, which I think was a sign that they were coming out with another one, just because people didn't exactly want to pay all that much money for a rapid strike with a 25 round drum and you know like the extra attachments which some people like which I like some people like for their tacticalness and all that all the locks in there but at the same time if you're going to be getting it just to sort of paint and mod and everything it is a bit pointless to pay that much, which I have never really bought a Rapid Strike brand new because I've always found mine used. Let me stick these all in the mag here. These darts feel a little bit soft comparatively. They are a code foam, so I'm not sure what that exactly means. I'll have to look back at the wiki and maybe I'll pop it up on screen what each code means. It might just be regions because you, do, you need different sort of foam densities and all that for different areas of the world, like depending on the height from sea level and such because of atmospheric pressures. You don't want your darts to be super duper skinny if you're down at around sea level like I kind of am, because then it wouldn't seal well in springers. But yeah, let's hear this thing. Oh, yeah. That was interesting. Initially, it is nice and quiet. Let's get this thing run through its paces. 
Luckily, this muzzle fits right in here. Oh, nope. <laughs> These batteries don't have enough juice to actually push. Let's try that again. Oh, there it goes. And yeah, it's about stock flywheeler. Rate of fire is all right. Didn't think to actually get any sort of FPS ranges, but you know what a stock flywheeler hits. And especially considering these batteries are mostly dead, I don't think it would be a fair comparison anyway. But, you know, it's nice to have another rapid strike again. Even if it is a little bit different, which I I welcome the change. Like, it is a bit more of a stark contrast with the black on here. I wish they actually painted this here black as well, but, you know, can't have it all. Hasbro cheaping out on us again. Uh, but, yeah. I will drop a link down to walmart.com where you can get this and everything. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I just want to make things easier for people who want to get their, their inner flashers and want to kind of collect another one. But yeah, I'll probably end up modding this thing, leaving it sleeper, because I actually like the way this looks. It's good for a sort of stock looking blaster. And I'm a fan of having the black on the grip and stuff because it is more contrasty and it looks nice. It makes all the other, other colors pop. Kind of bummed that the pad of the stock isn't painted, but eh, that could be remedied if I decide to. And yeah, my name is Valor. All links down below. And again, if you'd like to support the channel, Patreon is a great way of doing that. As well as just commenting down below with, like what your thoughts are on this blaster and such. Do you like the fact that they're re-releasing the Rapid Strike again? Oh, do you like it? Do you not like it? Tell me what your thoughts are down in the comments section below. And as ever, my name is Valor, thanks for watching.